Today I'm going to show you how to use the copy paste tools in Sketches School in order to make a picture. So go ahead and you're going to open Sketches School and I'm going to create a background that my pattern is going to be on top of. So I'm using my watercolor brush and remember over to the right side you can see um, different sizes of brushes and that's going to create different effects with that watercolor brush. So I'm just tapping all over the surface and building up a layer of this blue color. It almost looks like fireworks. Now my goal is to create a flower that then I can repeat over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and make the middle of my flower um, where all the seeds and the pollen are. And then I'm going to be making a petal. And that petal is going to be uh, repeated or copy pasted five times around the outside of the middle. So I'm going to spend some time really making that petal look exactly like I want it because then I'm going to show you how to copy paste. Just a reminder that you can use the blur tool which is the one that right here that has the spirals three up from the bottom and that one helps to blend your colors together. I love the blender. It comes in handy so often. So that's what I'm using here on top of my petal. All right, now that I have my uh, flower petal all ready to go, I'm going to show you the trick. Now we're ready to try and copy and paste. You're going to be using this tool that looks like a knife at the bottom. And you're going to be going all the way around the one object that you would like to copy. So I'm going to show you that again. I'm going all the way around with my finger or my stylus, the one part of the picture that you would like to copy. Once it's selected, you'll press the three dots at the top of the screen, then click the down arrow, and then click paste. This will paste another petal onto your composition. Now you can resize it, and place it where you would like it to be. Then press the check mark in order for it to stay there. You're going to repeat that process now. So go ahead and click the three dots, then click the arrow, then click paste. Then you'll resize that piece and press the check mark when you're ready. Then continue to repeat that process until you have the entire flower. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the cutting tool again to go all the way around the outside of my flower because I want to copy paste the entire flower multiple times in my artwork. So I'm tracing around the outside of the flower. It has now been copied. I go to the arrow, press paste, and now I can move the entire flower and copy paste them throughout the artwork. So I'm going to continue to do this, copy paste, all over my artwork. I make my flowers different sizes just to get some differences in my artwork and to create some variety throughout it. And then it is done. 